Can counting macros or IIFYM become an obsession, sort of like any other eating disorder? That is what we're going to talk about today. There's no set in stone answer to this question. Here's my thoughts. Everyone is different, everyone's body is different, everyone's mindset is different, and everyone has things that work for them and not for others. And what works best for me, counting macros isn't it. However, I do realize that I almost, because of experience, I sort of live like the IIFYM lifestyle, but I just don't calculate or put everything into Fitness Pal or know exact numbers of what I consume in a day. For people that just want to get to a leaner body and like numbers, like calculating, it makes them feel better, then maybe IFYM is for you. For me, I've had enough experience in counting every single calorie that goes into my body because of a past eating disorder that number one, I kind of know what I'm eating in a day even if I'm not tracking. And number two, I never want to go back to tracking exact numbers because that just will not be healthy for my mindset. For people that aren't competing and are just wanting to live a healthy lifestyle and have a sort of background in knowing what kind of foods and things like that have protein and carbohydrates and fat in them, I don't think IFYM is really necessary. Now I'm not saying that doesn't mean you can't do it or that it's not healthy because like I said, everybody is different. But I believe like for me, listening to my body is key. Some people I hear say like they're starving at the end of the night, but they have no more, like they've used up all their calories. And for me, that's when it gets to be unhealthy because clearly your body is telling you that you're hungry and that you need more. And I don't think strict numbers should dictate whether you let yourself eat more or not. Now, if it's just helping you keep an estimate about, oh, like I, I'm needing more protein now, or I'm needing more carbohydrates now, or more fat now, because this meal clearly had this many carbohydrates, grams of fat, whatever, then maybe this is like really great for you to use. For me, I don't count macros, I don't put things into fit my fitness pal, as you've seen that my one vlog I did track one day, just to show you guys and to show myself. But with that being said, I, because of knowing a lot about nutrition, I'm, I mean, I have a bachelor's degree in food science and human nutrition. I'm getting on my master's in exercise physiology. So I know a lot about food. And so I kind of try to get every meal to have some protein in it, some healthy carbohydrates in it, and some healthy fats in it. And so say I know I'm gonna be having like a lot of carbohydrates at night, like if I'm going out for pizza with friends, then I'll try to eat a lot of protein earlier in the day so that I can still have a balance throughout my day of protein, fats, carbohydrates. So I mean, if you really think about it, I kind of am living the IFYM lifestyle. I'm just not calculating specific numbers, but I can kind of now, because of experience, know like, okay, like I know because of what I've eaten today, I haven't probably gotten a lot of protein, so I'm gonna have a protein snack. Or I haven't gotten any fat in because I didn't have any like peanut butter or nuts or anything like that earlier, so I'm gonna just have a handful of trail mix right now. So, I mean, it all comes down to what fits your lifestyle best. If you like counting numbers, if that makes you feel better, if you're trying to lose weight and don't know where to start, if you really don't know that much about nutrition and what kind of foods have protein, fat, and carbohydrates in it, then IFYM can be for you. Or of course, like anyone competing, it's definitely for you because that's the best way to go about competitions and getting your leanest but still having a healthy mindset and still able to eat some foods that you love. But I think that if you're starting to get to the point where you're starving at night and you're not letting yourself eat because you've used up all your calories, then that's getting to a disordered eating pattern. That's, that's just not a healthy mindset. And I believe in listening to your body. I believe everything in moderation. And I think that if your body's telling you it's hungry, then you should be eating. So those are my thoughts on IFYM, counting macros, the whole spiel. And I've seen a lot of articles lately on is it the new eating disorder? Honestly, I don't think it is if you do it the right way. 
basically I choose not to do it. But if you want more structure in your eating plan, or if you are competing, or if you can be okay and not freak out if you go over your numbers a day, then by all means do it. It's great, I really do like how it lets people have the kinds of foods they want. It doesn't tell you certain foods to eat and that's why it's a really popular thing out there. So my take on it, I don't do it. I just do intuitive eating, listening to my body, but that's after knowing a lot about nutrition. So let me hear your thoughts below. Do you do IFYM? What, what do you think about it? Um, do you count anything? I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Hope you like this little short video on is IFYM the new eating disorder. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and comment below what else you want to hear me talk about here on Fresh Fit and Healthy YouTube. Bye guys!